you guys your boy Pura Senpai here and today we're gonna be reacting to Undead Unluck episode 19. Man I cannot believe that we've gone so far and so much things has happened in this anime and I've been just straight up just been enjoying this anime so far so much that I'm just like mind blown to the things that I've learned from like this whole world of this anime. This could be definitely in the top 10 for uh definitely for 2023 for me. I can't actually say it for 2024 because you know it came out for 2023 but yet it has so much to offer for what it had for its first season of course i mean it's 23 to 24 episodes uh, for the first season but still i think they did a solid job with that said if you guys happen to enjoy my reaction on today's episode hit that like button if you guys want to see my reaction the next episode hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already but that's pretty much all i gotta talk about let's on to today's episode oh yeah you know what I forgot they left us with that really crazy cliffhanger and I was like what are what did like she show to Fuko and Andy and to the rest of the people this is it <laughs> let me guess it's like the manga that she had at the first episode because that's what it definitely looks like use as my life's bible <laughs> to you from me unknown is that actually like a manga if it is I'm gonna read it Mm. Wow, there's a lot of different arcs. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Wait a minute. Holy shit, it does sound familiar. Is she the main character in that? Wait, so this book can define the past and the future, but in its own way of telling its story. Yo, that's crazy. Uh, I guess he never read the manga. <laughs> of course, Fuko is gonna fucking wild out. <laughs> Even she knows it, bro. Holy fuck. I guess he has a lot of to study. Huh. Ooh, that's interesting. So there is no information about the author. Oh, so okay. It was used by an artifact to dry out those things. And by doing that, it actually shows or certain events in real life. Well, damn. And that's gonna be a lot to do. Definitely a lot. <laughs> He's enjoying it. All we gotta do is whip up a killer manga and bring it to them, right? Wait, what? My boy Andy, he thinks the most wildest shit ever. I'm telling you. Undead plus unluck. Man, haven't we seen that combination before? Well, okay, what is this Star Wars bullshit? What is going on? They literally did a Star Wars opening. What the hell? Wait, so what are they gonna do? So they're gonna be making their own manga? <laughs> she seems dead as fuck. Wait, has she even done anything? Oh god. <laughs> Why am I the one making it? She seems like the person to be the closest to manga. Whoa, what is this? Wow, that is some strats. Oh wow, so he actually dabbled a bit. Rough draft. Yeah, that usually is where, like, all the problems will be solved. <laughs> yep, there we go. Deadbolt? <laughs> okay, okay, I see where they're going with this. You'll be able to understand her own feelings by doing this? Mm -hmm. Ooh. So, by these feelings, she could... Okay. Okay. Holy shit. Aww. Oh, that's definitely gonna be an emoji. Does he like it? Nice, wicked, sick. Oh, damn, he's gonna have it done in an hour. Oh, wait, they're gonna help. Nice. The gear. Wait, what is she? Wait, 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 what is she doing? Oh, so it's getting operated by the brainwaves. Oh my god, Fuku likes to move a lot. What the hell? <gasps> oh! No way she did that to my boy Andy. Oh my, he ripped out the ripping out. Oh my god. Ah, uh, okay, I see where it came from. Oh shit. Hey yo, this soundtrack? Let's fucking go. This is my banger soundtrack for this anime. <laughs> she could actually hug her now. What the hell? Drink. Wait, what is this? What the hell? Oh, okay. Wait, so are they just drawing their own 
Anga? Damn, bro. You know what? It'll be crazy if authors can find equipment like this because, bro, manga be selling for days. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where is her tool? I guess she doesn't need one. Wow. Holy shit, that's insane, bro. You know, to the people that actually can draw stuff and actually have talent for this type of things, I mean, of course, as they practice and learn and, you know, improve themselves, kudos to them, man. They they have something that I will never have. Unless if I actually try. Oh, that was a perfect fucking circle if I've ever seen one. Uh, so Billy's betrayal was something out of from the manga. So this is basically like a little episode of them just drawing manga. Holy shit, she's fried. <laughs> dude, Andy looks like a fucking proud dad, dude. <laughs> Wait, why? He could literally go to sleep. Why does he just keep on working out? Nice. He approves. Oh, she could find rest. Yo, my boy. Undead plus unluck. Nice. To re they reject her. I'm showing up the place. Huh? What's with my boy Andy? I think I guess he got rejected. Huh? <laughs> Damn. Even that surprised her. Wait. Shouldn't she realize that that's her in the manga? Feel it. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh, she's seen the raw manuscript. Oh, damn. Okay, so that was her first hint, knowing that it's a prophecy. <laughs> that, so she's also a fan. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, there's some telling us some crazy things in the future. The Kohi's betrayal arc. Oh, so that was the betrayal of Billy. I see. Four Kings of the Four Seasons arc. So that that's what this like new quest is gonna be. Oh shit. And the uh, Andal's past arc. Andos. Are you talking about Andy? <laughs> Easy as that. Oh shit, Jesus Christ, Andy. Andy is so straightforward, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking Andy. Any good. Whoa. Holy crap. Damn, what the hell? This person been writing and drawing. Oh, it looks like. They got a date. Time to review today's episode. So today's episode, we finally discovered that like the book that Fuko was reading in the beginning of the first episode was that that book would tell the past and the future of its predictions of certain events that actually happens in real life. Now, it's not as straightforward to by telling you got to like dig deep and knowing where like that certain things happen that has already happened and so the one way they could find the author and like you know the artifact that the person was using of the pen to you know write these past future events Fuko and andy would end up having to make their own manga and seeing them do the whole process i mean it's like crazy in their own way and it makes it 10 times funnier but i know like how hard working it can be to just make a manga and then get rejected like i feel like being a manga person or like you know an artist and an author it should be getting paid more like they should be and shed tons of money because i mean drawing is like one of the most amazing things you can do as an artist and even telling a story behind it but finally once they finish you know making that manga the rough draft and everything all that stuff Fuko went up to the place and was getting the approval of like going into the contest and after that it looks like they were able to identify one of the things that confirmed that the uh, sensei's author kun that drew love to me or whatever it's called after realizing that it does or holds some truth to some prophecy of revealing the patrol arc of of course billy betraying them they were able to finally get in contact with the author kun that they want to talk to and now next episode things would be hitting the fan i think because i just saw a spider or the autumn 
arc spider i think that's what it was with that said if you guys happen to enjoy my reaction on today's episode hit that like button if you guys want to see my reaction next episode hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already but that's pretty much all i gotta talk about it's been your boy person and i'll see you guys in the next episode